Hi, welcome again to the RCTO Hobby video channel. We're here today with the Earthquake 8E from Red Cat Racing. This is a 1 8 scale brushless electric truck that comes with uh, dual LiPo batteries. We're going to talk about how to get started with this bad boy once you get it. Okay, so we've got our radio, we've got the truck, we've got the batteries are installed in the truck, batteries installed in the radio. We're almost ready to go, but not quite. First, I want to flip the, of course, flip the antenna up. This comes with the DSM-2C radio. I'm going to flip the antenna up in this case. We're going to open up the panel to turn the radio on. Okay, you see the lights are on, the radio's on. We're not quite ready to start the car yet. First, we want to inspect the controls and the radio. I'm going to give you a closer look at these. Okay, we have here, faster braking. Okay, when you want to go from forward to reverse, you first pull the trigger up to stop the car, then you push it again to go in reverse, okay? And of course we have the two, you turn the wheel to turn the car right so or left. You want to be sure that the throttle trim is set to its neutral position. You want to adjust the steering trim, okay? And you also want to check that the dual rate is opened up. We're going to show you a closer look at those in another video. So we're ready to turn it on for the first time. Bear in mind, you may need to make small adjustments to the throttle trim once you do. Uh, this is a pretty fast and powerful truck, so you want to be sure that uh, you have it in a, when you first turn it on, I mean, be sure you have it in a space where you can control it. Not in your kitchen with fragile china. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so there's a green light that comes on, it makes a noise. You can hear some humming because there's a fan that comes on. There's a fan that cools the ESC. So the car is it's stationary, which we expect. We're not pushing the trigger. Let's give it just a little bit of throttle. It responds forward as it should. Okay. We brake. Go in reverse. Okay. So we go in reverse. Forward. Reverse. Okay. So the car is responding. We go. We can turn it, turn the wheels, okay? We've got the dual rate set up. Again, remember, if you turn the dual rates all the way down, then no matter what you do with the steering control, you're returning the wheel all the way to the one side, it doesn't move. Open up the dual rates, now you can turn the car again, okay? So it looks like we're ready to go now. We can uh, take this out from the track and see what we can do with it. So now that we've made our initial checks and we're ready to take it out, uh, what do we do? Uh, we need to shut this thing down first. How do we shut it down? Remember the shutdown procedure this is for all RC vehicles. You want to turn the car off first. Leave the radio on. The radio is on. Turn the car off. Now it's safe to turn the radio off. Okay. So remember for the startup procedure when we're starting it up the radio is first on. Turn the radio on. Then we turn the car on. When we're ready to shut down, then we do the opposite. Turn the car off, and then the transmitter. So the transmitter is always first on, last off. So now we've got our Earthquake 80 is set up. Since the dials are tuned, all we need to do is, from now on, all we need to do with the radio is to be able to just, just flip up the panel, turn it on, put the panel back down, and we're ready to drive. So let's go have some fun.